guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about knots, how to tie them and what they are used for. Let's get straight into it. So there are five basic knots that we need to know for sailing. This is both level one and level two. I'll split this video up into what knots we need for level one sailing and what knots we need for level two sailing as well. In level one sailing, we need to know how to do a figure of eight knot, a round turn and two half hitches, and also be able to secure a rope to a cleat. I've got my nice piece of rope here. It's not very thick and it's not very long either, but for practicing, this is perfect. The first knot we're gonna do from the level one is a figure of eight knot. A figure of eight knot, what is it used for? It's a stopper knot to stop anything slipping through a block or a cleat. I'm going to show you how to do it quickly and then I'm going to break it down nice and slowly for you. Now we're going to break it down. So we take our rope, we're going to fold it so we have a nice loop at the top. Then we're going to go round the back all the way around the front and then up the loop at the top. Pull it nice and tight and can we see we've made a nice eight shape. Let's do that one more time. So we go round the back, round the front and then up the middle. Nice and simple. Our next knot is a round turn and two half hitches. This is nice and simple and it's really easy to undo under load. A round turn and two half hitches is a really useful knot. What is it used for? Securing your rope to a ring, bar or post. It can be done undone under load. Wow, that's hard to say. Here's a nice picture. So let's break it down then. So we go one round turn. So we've got both parts, both parts back facing us. And then we do the two half hitches. So it's really important that we go the same way for both half hitches. So I'm gonna go over the top and through the middle. And then we pull sideways. We never pull it tight like we're doing shoelace, we always pull it sideways and then we're going to go over the top and through the middle again. So it looks something like that. Let's do it again. So we go, so we go all the way round, do our round turn, over the top and through the middle pull it sideways, remember to pull it sideways, and we're going to go over the top and through the middle, again remembering to pull it sideways. Then this is going to come undone, no matter how tight I pull on this rope, it's not going to come undone. So we can undo it really easily, just like that. And it will always come undone under pressure. Level two, we need to know how to do a bowling, a clove hitch and a reef knot. Our next knot is a bowling. Some people really like this knot and some people hate it. I love it. I use it all the time. A bowling, in my opinion, the number one knot. What's it used for? To make a temporary eye or loop in the rope. The loop can be tied around or through a ring or post. It's secure but can't be untied under load. Let's try it in real time then. We take our piece of rope, we are going to make a B for bowling, a little B. We're going to take the other end, we're going to go up the hole, we're going to go around the back of the bottom B, and then we're going to go down the hole again. 
and we should end up with a loop in our rope and a tail on the other end. A lot of people make the mistake of not holding the loop. So we make our B for bowling. I normally pinch it in the middle, up, round the back and back down the hole. But we've got to make sure we hold onto this loop. So we pull down on the end and tighten the rope and then we have our loop in our rope. I am left handed so if this is difficult for you, you might need to find a right handed instructor. Make sure when we do make our B for bowling that the piece you're going to go up the loop, up the hole with is the piece that's on the top. Can you see that? The bit that's on the top is going to be the bit that you're going up the hole with. I've made this really tight now and the only way that we're going to undo this is to break the back of the bowling. So if we twizzle it over, there's this piece down here. So we call it this breaking the back. So we go, push that down and then we can undo it just like that. So now we've done our bowling, let's try doing it around something to make it a little bit trickier. Let's have a look at how to do it then. So we go all the way around and then we just do our bowling as we normally would in this part of the rope. And then we make sure to hold the end and pull this end tight. There you go. A nice bowling around a bar. The next knot on my list is a clove hitch. A clove hitch. What is it used for? Screwing a rope to a rail, ring or post. Normally used for fenders as they are easy to adjust and untie. Snatching can cause it to undo itself. I've tied this one onto here, but there's a few different ways that people do it. Um, I'm gonna show you the way that I always use and works best for me, but other people will have different ways. Let's have a quick look. So I go around, cross it over, and I put my two fingers in the middle of the cross. I then bring this rope all the way around again and stick it in between the cross. Can you see that? And then we pull it tight, just like that. So you're going to have a cross over the top and the line sticking out through the middle of the two. And then your other end at the bottom in the middle of the two as well. So we go round, cross it over, stick your fingers in the middle, come around again, and go back through the cross and tighten it up. Next up we have our reef knot. You're going to need both ends of your rope for this. A reef knot. What is it used for? Joining two pieces of rope together of equal thickness or the two ends. It's also used to tie a rope around an object such as sails. So first of all we take our two ends, we go right over left, tuck it under, Then we go left over right and tuck it under. You know it's a successful reef knot when you're able to slide the middle part like that. Let's go again. So we go right over left, tuck it under, and then we go left over right and tuck it under. Just like that. Thank you for watching today's video, that is it. We have learned our five basic knots that we need to pass our level one and our level two sailing course. Our level one knots are a figure of eight knot, a round turn and two half hitches. And our level two knots are a bowline, a clove hitch and a reef knot as well. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more on the water content. Bye.